I guess you just touched on it a little bit, just through fall camp so far, can you just give a little evaluation of kind of what you've seen? Yeah, yeah so it's it's been, I, I like the approach that the group has, has brought to camp, the day-to-day, the, -day, the consistency that they're working, striving to get to. They've, They've, uh, they've honed in on the details, you know, four or five months ago, it was all new and they were trying to understand, okay, formations, motions, everything within before the concept. And so now I think they got a good grasp of where to line up, what they're doing on a specific motion so that we can focus on the details within the position. And, and that's where you've seen success start to come through, how you're attacking a certain leverage, where you fit within a progression, what's your responsibility on this run play, how can you affect it. And uh, that, that group has done a really good job to this point of, of uh, working to, to build that consistency. Who is who's not healthy and able to fully go right now? Uh, right now we got, got a couple guys, um, Seth Anderson, Dayton Howard, and uh, Caden Legion. Uh, they're, they're working to get back in the fold and expect them to be back in the mix here but, uh, pretty soon. You obviously got a new title, new job. Um, what was that process like for you? You know, is that something you knew you definitely wanted to jump into? Or? I, I was very appreciative of the opportunity. It, obviously, when, when the position uh, opened up and uh, Coach Ferentz and I had the conversation, very appreciative to be here. It's a great group of uh, coaches, the staff, guys, they're really together, and that's reflective of Coach Ferentz and the way that he operates. And then to be able to work with the guys within this program, the, the group of guys that we have, I don't care what position it is, offense, defense, special teams, it's a, it's a great place to be. And so the opportunity when it came about, like I said, I was very appreciative to have that opportunity, excited about it, to make an impact, and uh, the ability to be able to work with this group of guys on staff and, and these players has been a lot of fun. How much, um, at, when you're at Colorado State, how much did you work with I know you were OC but how much did you work specifically with the wide receivers? We worked a lot with them okay. yeah they, they, we worked very closely together it's so tied together between quarterback and wide receiver whether I was playing the position coaching quarterbacks during my time at Wisconsin coordinating out at Colorado State you're trying to be on the same page constantly so you're constantly talking through things that I'm emphasizing in the meeting room right now how to attack leverages how where you fit within a progression what you're why the it's so critical that you impact the play in the run game to set up the play pass. All those little things are think conversations that I've been having for a long time, whether it was playing or coaching. So there's a lot of carryover. What do you feel like the the specific characteristics, assets you bring to that position group? What do you feel like they are? Ultimately, the, the reason I got into coaching was because I want to make a positive impact on the guys that I get to coach, and I want them to understand the the beauty of this game is you're part of you're part of a team and what are you doing what's your role what's your job being asked of to make a positive impact not only when you're on a certain play and you're one of 11 but when you're one of 120 and setting a standard having accountability within the room but you got you can't do that until you build trust and those relationships are critical and so i've i've enjoyed it my whole time my whole coaching career uh, being able to help guys grow on and off the field and i think the ability to build the trust within a room so that you can stress accountability and set a standard and hold guys to it. That's been enjoyable for me and we're continuing to do that each and every day. The the production at wide receiver, it hasn't been where it's needed to be the last few seasons. What? How, how do you get it to where it should be? Yeah, I, I think it's consistency. You have to understand what your job is, what we're asking you to do, and then you have to do it on a consistent basis because you don't know at what point that ball is going to find you. But if you're doing your job consistently, over and over and you're in the right place at the right time and doing the details within the position then the ball will eventually find you and but if you're not if it's one play you do it right and then it's not the look necessarily for the ball to go to you but then the next one you do it wrong and it is the look well then you're not going to get that opportunity so opportunities will come when they do come then we got to we got to capitalize on them and that's what's being stressed within the room right now you mentioned um, at Wisconsin kind of having a hand in wide receivers also Colorado State are there other stops you feel like you've been able to gain knowledge about wide receiver and the position and stuff that's helped you yeah the th those those have been the two stops that i've had in my coaching career i, I ga uh, sorry about i ga out at uh, pittsburgh um, but those have been the two main stops so when i took this position what i tried to do was 
think of guys that I have a ton of respect for within the profession that have coached the position. Think of guys that I played with that have played the position, pick their brain on as much as I could. You know, every, there, there's so much knowledge out there, and as a as a coach, you're constantly trying to gain as much knowledge as you can because then you can become a better coach and you can teach the guys at a better level. And so there were certain certain things that I tried to reach out and uh, collect some information on, and then build that with the the experiences that I've had and, and uh, try and put, Is there any put it together. Oh, sorry. Is there any guys in particular you can share who you talk just, with? Just guys, previous guys that I've worked with, uh -huh. um, previous guys, that, like I said, that I've played with. It's it's a decent amount of guys that, that I have a good amount of respect for. Um, that conversations that, you know, will catch up here and there and then um, something might lead to, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? What did you do in this situation? And uh, so it was a decent amount of guys. Is there anything like technically you feel like you that maybe you in the past last season wasn't going right that you just little fixes that can help you guys moving forward or is I, th I think you, you what I did was look at the position what we're asking the position to do and then make sure that everything that we're doing within a practice structure within a meeting structure is emphasizing that so that whatever is being asked of them from day one when Tim came in and we put the system in place, what's their job, how do they do it, and then once you, once I teach them how to do it, then they put it on tape and now emphasize the consistency to come with it. And so it, it wasn't anything specific that I looked back on, I more took this is my role, this is what we're doing, and what are all the details within what we're asking them to do, and then whether it's practice or meetings, everything we do, it's going to be done for a reason so that they can continue to get better at that. How do you feel like Terrell, the, him transitioning kind of from running back, is it? I mean, is he working more in slot still? How do you how do you feel like he fits in? He, he's he's great. I mean, uh, he, he he comes to practice and meetings every single day with with incredible. Uh, it just has an incredible approach, and he's a guy that you want to be around every day uh, because his attitude is just awesome. He's continued to work the skills within the receiver position. Uh, you've seen him progress each and every day. He gets a little bit better. He does something that is like, man, that's what we emphasized in the meeting, and he got it and, and did it. And, and so he's going to continue to get better, continue to grow. But uh, I love the way that he's, he's approached, approached camp and uh, really like it in the room.